Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I want to know what you guys have to say. I want to talk about a bait that I've never heard anyone talk about. I, get, I just got it in uh, my most recent order from Tackle Warehouse. The only reason that I ordered it is because Taku Ito, during the Bassmasters Classic Tournament a few weeks ago on Lake Hartwell, was using it, and they never mentioned it. I was just able to figure out, based on them showing some pictures of the bait uh, or video while he was fishing with it, that I was able to find it on Tackle Warehouse, and it actually was one of the new product releases on Tackle Warehouse, so it wasn't that hard to find, but it's a very unique bait. Uh, it's one that I'm curious to know if you guys have used and if so how you're using it because it's such a unique looking bait I see a lot of different potential options for it and I'm just curious if you guys have been using it so the bait that I'm talking about is this guy right here so it's a Norris. this is the 3.6 flip cogill on the tackle warehouse site they call it the flip gill it's super unique in that it's, you know, it's a really flat bodied bait, but it's extremely thin. It's just, you know, probably a quarter inch wide, if that, an eighth of an inch wide. So it's a very unique looking bait. It doesn't look like anything else that I've seen on the market. On the package, which is, uh, most of it looks like it's in Japanese says to uh it says natural splashdown sound with slide and spiral fall attract fish as soon as the bait hits the water short curly tails create effective action with whether no sinker or with sinker rig and it's designed for flipping into cover with a texas rig so when i was watching taku throw this he appeared to be using it as a wacky rig he had a he had a exposed hook through the front portion of the head and he was fishing docks with it he was skipping it up under docks which i imagine it skips quite well considering the flat shape uh, but he was skipping it under docks and he was twitching it on the retrieve back he wasn't letting it fall he wasn't letting it do anything he was shaking the rod tip and pretty much straight retrieving it back to the boat which again i haven't used this bait i just got it in but my assumption is that the bait, you know, will grab the water and just continue to dart up looking like a dying shad or dying bluegill, which is very interesting to me. You know, it mentions on the bag to rig it as a, a Texas rig it. So I could see that, you know, you could flip with it. I'm sure you're going to get some gliding motion out of it or spiraling motion, depending on how you rig it. If you rig it a little offset, you'll probably get spiraling motion. If you Texas rig it perfectly straight down the middle, you should get more gliding motion out of it, especially with a light Texas rig. Uh, it also mentions uh, on the Tackle Warehouse website, I believe, that you can NACO rig this and you'll get good gliding motion. So I assume, you know, like I've talked about before, using like the Maxent Creature Hog and nail weighting it and reverse hooking it to get good sliding motion. I assume you can rig this in a similar manner with a nail weight and, and you know, more of a NACO style hook, but you, or rig on it, but you'll get much more gliding motion out of it based on the shape. Very unique. Uh, I can't say it's the most attractive looking bait to me, but it does, you know, I don't think you can see it, but there is like a scale pattern on it with a face and some gills. So it definitely looks, you know, like a bluegill in shape. I almost would rather there not even be curly tails and just rather a tail on it, but I'm curious to use it. I'm definitely going to give it a try. Uh, they were, uh, they had a bunch of different colors when I looked at it, when I ordered it, but at that time they only had uh, a couple of colors in stock that I wanted. I just looked today and they have a bunch more in stock now, but guys, I want to know, is this something that you guys are using or is it something that uh, is more gimmick? than actual bait. I know Taku was using it in the classic, but I can't say he caught that many fish using it. I think I only saw him catch one fish and he did finish seventh in that tournament, 
but most of the fish that they showed, at least on TV, he was fishing deeper, doing, you know, other traditional deep water methods for like spotted bass. He did not appear to be catching them all on this, but I see potential in this bait. It's a different design from most baits that I know of on the market. Maybe you guys have some other similar baits that are wide profiled and super thin like that. If, sh if so, share those in the comment section as well. I'd love to check those out. As you guys know, I love to tackle or tinker with tackle, and I love to try new baits out. So I'm excited to get this out on the water just to see what happens. Uh, there's part of me that says I'm going to be very much let down based on the fall and everything. But I also think there's good potential that this bait will have motion that no other baits really on the market have. So let me know in the comment section if you guys have used it. Check it out. You can get it at Tackle Warehouse. I'll put the link in the video for you. Uh, and if there's certain ways you like rigging it, share that as well, because I'd like to know that too. It's just a short video, guys. I got to order in with a bunch of Tackle Warehouse stuff. I'm excited to check it out. And this was one of the baits. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Stay tuned. Another video coming out tomorrow.